uh, Winona Court Studios in Denver, Colorado. This is the Crazy Quilt Records Show. I'm Brad. I'm Billy. All right, and uh, today we're going folk for our first episode. Uh, we're going to talk a bit about uh, Joanna Newsom and also a local artist named Jason Hordesky who's playing in a band called Maudlin Magpie. Uh, part of what we want to do with our shows is uh, spotlight local artists. Um, uh, we'll sort of start out with uh, nationally known independent music artists like Joanna Newsom that you may have heard and then use that to sort of uh, lead you to someone similar and we think uh, Jason Hordesky will make a nice pairing today. So uh, we'll start this out by playing uh, a song by Joanna Newsom. The song's called Esme. It's off her new album which is called Have One On Me. It's a triple LP and uh, it's been a uh, very good record. So uh, here we go and we'll listen to that right now. <laughs> Good song. It's just a snippet, um, but uh, at the bottom of the screen you'll see links uh, where you can find out more information about the record and her. Um, let's see, Billy, you saw Joanna Newsom before, right? So yeah, I've seen her uh, Fall 06, Bluebird. It was a good show. She played a, uh, she came out by herself, played the the hit, if you will, the, the stuff. She played solo um, of the Milk-Eyed Mender. She ran through I wish I could remember how many songs. It was about five uh, right off of there. And then she brought out her full band um, that was she was touring with, I guess, in support of Ease at the time, which was the new record. And, um, and long songs on Ease. Yes, it's very, very long. Uh, I hadn't even heard the record at that point, and so my experience with those songs was with the show and this full band, and I had to say it sounded great, so. Yeah, the thing about her that's interesting <coughs> is that the songs are so long that by the time the chorus rolls back around, it's been four or five minutes, <laughs> and it's almost like a sense of deja vu you have uh, with that. I saw her last time she was uh, coming through Denver, and that was actually uh, opening for Bjork, and uh, she and her band were very good, but um, the people selling beer in the stands really made it hell. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to listen to a harp and mandolin band from 200 yards away, but um, the, the people selling uh, Lynchburg lemonades and uh, Twizzlers will, will kind of distract you from that. A lot of Twizzler sales going on there. Um, and and uh, so Red Rocks has just been uh, destroyed by the beer hawkers. But, uh, uh, <laughs> a lot of sensitive soul songwriting mixed with... Uh, Junk food, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. And the same thing happened. I saw David Byrne there uh, last summer, and he was, uh, you know, and it was just louder, and I was closer. Uh, but in the middle of once in a lifetime, you get uh, people just coming up and saying, you know, yeah, and, beer, Coors Light. And as an aside, I hear uh, by several people that show was killer. So. It was a great show, yeah. despite the, uh, despite, despite the people the in the aprons shilling beer. Yeah, shilling yeah, beer. it's great. So anyway, <laughs> back to the music <laughs> at hand. Uh, we. Played some Joanna Newsom for you. Uh, here's uh, we'll talk a little bit about someone named Jason Hordesky slash Maudlin Magpie. He's uh, a guy we've run into quite a few times around here, uh, folk singer, and uh, this is a song I believe called "The Garden." So here is that song now. I woke it to dusk, twisted bed sheets, clawed my way through these misshapen memories. Out my window pane. All right, so there's a taste of uh, Jason Horodesky. Uh, he's, he's an interesting guy. He's very enthusiastic about local bands when you hang out with him, and he's also a very soft spoken uh, guy. So when you hear that in his songs, that's, that's what he's like in person. Yeah, yeah Jason, I have to agree. Uh, he's very, uh, very supportive of the local scene, he seems to know a lot of people. Um, attends a lot of shows and very enthusiastic about everyone else's songs. Um, I've had the opportunity to just work with some demos with Jason here at a uh, Winona Court Studios, and um, one way I like to tie him in with Joanna Newsom is I find him to be very uh, story-based in his songwriting. Um, just like Newsom, she kind of creates her own little mythology in her own world. But Jason, he definitely has a very literate feel 
uh, to his songwriting, to his lyrics. Just kind of a comment I have on his songwriting. He's a very lyric guy. It pays <laughs> to have a, a dictionary handy when you listen to, uh, to Jason. It's still enjoyable without the dictionary, though. We like it a lot. You can still like it even <laughs> if you don't have a dictionary. But, you know. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's it today. Uh, Jason's got some shows coming up, but uh, if you follow links on the screen, uh, you'll be able to get some more information about him. And uh, uh, if you want to send in any emails, tell us what you should be listening to, yes, what bands please. you should check out. Um, anything else, Bill? Anything. No, that's really it. I was going to just say send in anything you think, uh, any Denver bands, any local bands, Colorado bands we should be listening to, comparing, uh, comparing with, I guess, with national bands. We, um, we're here to kind of spread the word of what Denver has to offer. So thanks for watching. Oh, we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, we'll be back in the next show.